Hello guys and welcome. We are doing a bit of a different setup today. Um, it's going to be a review, but I thought whilst I do a review, I'll do a little showcase as well, showing off the rest of the collection because um, I'm not going to do individual reviews of all these unless people want that. But um, what I'll do is I'll just run through them and then maybe we'll showcase in more detail um, my favourite ones as well. So um, these are all the NECA um, TMNT film um, figures. Um, just picked the last Ronin up, so that is actually not part of the film, but I thought it looked really cool. So um, I thought I'd just show these. Um, so I'll go through my top ones, and then um, maybe we'll do a short reviews of them as well. So um, we'll run through the quick ones. So obviously Foot Ninja, uh, I've got Bladed one, and I've got the uh, Melee one there, but they're both the same, just with different accessories. So that's him. Put them there. I've got loads. Like, it took me ages to set all this up. Um, and obviously, there's a melee one there. Comes with a lot of different accessories. Um, they did. I mean, it's typical Necker, but we'll go through the articulation. We'll go to him last, actually. Uh, this is Casey. Came with the uh, like. Disguised Raphael. Um, I only wanted KC, so that just came with it, I guess. Um, but these come with a load of accessories. It's actually a really cool figure as well, KC. And I need to do some more photos with these guys in. Um, don't do enough, really. Um, so maybe this will spark some more photos with them. But yeah, he's definitely one of my top ones. Uh, this guy. I mean, it's just Raphael with a coat on, a backpack. Hat doesn't stay on very well. Right, so onto the turtles themselves. And there we go. <laughs> so, um, my first one I got was Leonardo. Actually, was he? Um, I don't know. He was my first one. And there's a problem with this because the sword actually breaks. They're, they're both very, very, very fragile. I've glued that on so many times. Um, it looks like I'll be doing it again. Um, they just break, they're just so fragile. And um, it's a shame really. Um, that one broke pretty much out of the box. Um, yeah, it's a thing with Necker. I guess they're all kind of fragile figures. Um, so we'll put him off the side and we'll do a fix on him now because I've just broken it again. All right, uh, next one is Raphael. This is actually my second one I got because the first one joints barely moved at all, and when I moved it, it snapped. So, um, yeah, I think I think Necker go for detail a lot more than uh articulation, don't they? Because I mean, I've got the boys' figures, Starlight's feet have snapped off, so. But this guy is one of my, probably one of my favorite turtles. And then Michelangelo, and then Leonardo, and then Donatello at the end. But um, Raphael's probably, my, definitely one of my top ones. We'll move on to Mikey. Um, he comes with some cool accessories as well. They all come with pizza as well, so you can actually make a whole pizza. Um, he's, a, he's just a cool turtle, I guess. And I do. He comes with his nunchucks. Uh, they don't. They're not on chains like the um, Foot Ninja, so you can actually pose the nunchucks. Um, because they come on this like wire type thing, similar to the wire used to um, stand figures as well. So that's Mikey. We'll move on to Donatello. Um, I mean, he's a cool figure, but I mean, it's just little things really like this. 
tie the the uh, bow staff on. It, it just doesn't work. Um, so it's just little things with them, really. I mean, they look really nice, but um, like detail-wise and stuff. But I mean, for Ninja Turtles, you want you want to be able to pose them really well, and this you just can't. So this guy, a monster, <laughs> he is massive, and he is one of the coolest looking figures going. Um, articulation wise, it's not too bad, <laughs> but he's, he's necker only, he? so let's face it. Um, but he's actually a really cool figure. Sharp as well, but these are actually all sharp. Um, stands really well, poses really well, and you can get some really nice photos with him as well. So definitely, definitely worth picking this guy up if you can find him anywhere. So yeah, so that's the showcase. We'll move on to the actual review now. So here it is in the box. Um, this is the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin. Um, I don't actually know too much about this. I just thought he looked really cool. Um, so here's the box, undestroyed. I'm not gonna destroy this box. Um, it is gonna go in the bin anyway, but I just don't wanna destroy it because I actually wanted to show it not like properly. So um, here's the back of it. Gives a little rundown uh, about who he is. Um, from what I've seen, it doesn't you don't actually find out who he is. Um, he's just got a mixture. He's like a mixture of all their um, like weapons and stuff. But yeah, it's like a the final chapter type thing in the future. Um, Ninja Turtles and uh, post-apocalyptic kind of setting. So it's a nice, nice looking box and all mecha come with this sort of nice um, pit. And it's nice to get plastic as well. Like, I mean, it's rare that you get kind of plastic now. Um, got a nice picture of the figure there. And then obviously you've got him in here. So what we're gonna do, just gonna just get him open and we'll do the review. So here he is out of the box and wow, I mean, he comes with a hell of a lot of um, accessories. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll move him back a bit and then we'll um, we'll have a look at what he comes with. Comes with a lot of losable things. So, um, I mean, if you're gonna undo them, make sure you've got a little tub to put them in. Sorry about that. So, um, comes with some really small fins and if you don't have a little tub, you will lose them. But, so, I mean, I'll try and show it. <laughs> Hands getting away. Comes with small, like, grenade type fin now. Put that over there. Uh, comes with four shurikens. Move them in Comes with open palm hand, like a clenching holding hand, another open palm, and another clenched like holding hand. Comes with a foot claw and it's actually on a rope as well. So uh, do with that what you wish, I guess. Um, it's quite a long rope, really, for what it is, but um, I'll probably wrap it around him or something. Comes with Donatello's bow staff. It's actually a better looking one than the film version. Comes with a katana, and it comes with a sheath as well, which is really nice. You can put that in there. And it seems thicker than Leo's ones as well, so it probably won't break as easy. Comes with a Raphael's daggers, or one of them. 
comes with nunchucks that are actually on a chain and that's really cool so I mean it's not like you can spin it around but it would be nice if you could pose it but it doesn't really matter it looks cool on the chain and it's actual metal as well the chain and if you can see it's actual metal I'll go on ahead in a minute a really chunky button like that is beefy uh, an extra bandana piece some goggles and a spare head and this head looks really nice actually it's um got that kind of comic look to it it's got the kind of wrinkles and painted really nice I do like Necker's paint apps it's really detailed so um we'll go on to the actual figure himself he is beefy he looks really cool um so it's nice to have like a cool looking figure like this and um what we'll do is i'll go over the articulation and the looks as well because the detail on it is really good like i don't know if you can see it on camera but it's all kind of textured so you've got like the texture of the hood the arm is all textured it's really nice you've got the smoothness like all the armor parts here different texture so it's really cool and yeah, you just it's got different fields all over it. Um, and you've got all the different places for all the weapons to go here as well. Right in there. You've got some here, you've got another one there. So it's really cool. Um it's got his sandals on as well. Um so what you do, we'll do the articulation. So head goes all the way around it's on a ball joint uh, looks up that high down that high and I've just noticed as well that the hood is a separate piece it is so it can come off so the hood can come off and it just pegs into the back like the bandana so you could do that in there like that and you can put a bandana on him so that looks really nice as well so um we'll carry on so down it doesn't look up he looks up that far but down not so much arm wise comes out about that high so not at all really um back that far forward that far it's got uh, elbow rotation and joints go about that far hindered obviously I mean it's necker so I'm not really too bothered by the articulation like that because you kind of expect it um, hands full rotation and they're on a peg as well and they go up and down up and down hinge on them but they don't move that far because of the armor on there he has torso rotation all the way around just be careful though because this is attached inside there so if you twist it too much you could break the rope uh, legs go quite high about that high back that far and then he's on double jointed knees as well and they go quite away actually so that's nice and then the feet are on hinge but they don't go back that far but they go forward that far and they're also on a rocker joint as well so overall this guy is really cool um what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hood back on so it's back in its like original state and then we'll try them out with some um, 
some of the uh, accessories. Maybe we'll figure out where to put some of them as well. <laughs> uh, all right, so that will go in there, I'm guessing. Yeah. No, 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 in there, no. Right, I'll be back in a minute. That took a while. So here he is with all of his accessories on. Um, that foot claw is probably the most annoying accessory I've ever had. Um, it's too long. I will be cutting it down, I think. Um, it's just, there's too much rope. Um, so uh, I've wrapped it around him a few times at the moment. But so this hooks on, so the sword goes in here. Bow stuff goes there. Nunchucks go there. I'm guessing the foot claw went there. Um, but baton he's holding, and daggers go there. He's also got these; they go around his neck, but I haven't put them on yet. But um, overall, this guy is really cool looking, and definitely, definitely worth picking up. Uh, even if you don't collect the all the TMNT ones, this guy's a good one-off anyway. So anyway, hope you've all liked and enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. See you later.